Our Bassmaster College Series presented by Bass Pro Shops. We will get underway. You guys have a safe night and good luck in the morning. No. I think it's a big Good lord. I'm not running anywhere. I'm not leaving this creek. I'm staying in here. Oh, dude, I'm an amateur. Well, we're out here on... Uh, we're out here in Anderson, South Carolina at the lovely Hampton Inn. Um, plugging in the boats. We got Tucker, Blake, Cam, Ty, and Chase here. We're here for stop number one of the College Bass Series on Lake Hartwell, episode two of the YouTube series. Ready to get after it. Any wise words from the boys? I got nothing. No, not really. <laughs> you put me on the spot, man. I was trying to do my homework. <laughs> Tucker, we're gonna figure something out this week. I hope we catch them. Yeah, yeah. You excited? I am excited. All right, where are we right now? We're in Lake Hartwell. We're in Lake Hartwell. Well, at Lake Hartwell. Yeah. Okay. Seen the boat? Yeah. It's pretty dirty, but. So how come we don't have it. Logan's boat? Cause the powerhead blew up. How far was the tow back? Dude, literally. We, I ran all the way back from Senior Rock and made the turn. I could see paces, and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was looking at my phone. I was looking at my phone, and I was like, "Whose boat just blew up?" I was like, "That's not good." <laughs> that was. See you in the morning, sweet chick. What time you guys up? I don't know. What time did did y'all get up? To we got up at six. Left at six fifteen. Some nights at like six forty-five. Well, I guess we'll get up at six. All right. I'll see you boys in the morning. All right. See ya. The water looks pretty. Um, it's the first herring lake, like really herring lake I've been to, so I'm ready to experience that, and uh, hopefully we can get on some fish. What are your thoughts about Hartwell? I've been here a couple times. It's been tough every time, but uh, we've been here in the fall, and we're here in the spring. I think there's gonna be a lot of fish caught. We're gonna have to find some big ones to separate ourselves from the competition for sure. Universities still refused to really work with the fishing team to get us approved to go to these events. Meanwhile, we're playing basketball, football, gymnastics, just because we're a club sport and not under athletics, we're not approved to go to these events. But luckily, due to Bassmasters policies and understanding of our situation, they're working with anglers like us and several of the other schools to allow us to come to these events and fish as individuals unaffiliated with our university. That way we're allowed to go and the university can't prevent us from coming so we're still able to compete, do what we love. Even though it's not ideal, you know, we'd love to be out here representing Auburn University but um, if they're not going to let us there's not much we can do about it. I 
mean, it wasn't bad. I mean, we, we caught some two pounders, maybe a couple two and a halves. Uh, I think to qualify or obviously win, which is the goal, uh, we're gonna need to increase our size. Um, so probably gonna go head hunting tomorrow, next couple days, see if we can find some big and shallow. Figured a little deal out at the end, um, the last few hours of the day, kind of ran shallower stuff and caught a good bit of fish, but we're gonna have to look for some more size the next few days, so that's the plan. Official practice day one. Tournament starts Friday. Got a couple more days to figure something out. I got a pretty good idea, but never know until derby day. What's the move today? Uh, we figured out a little bit of something yesterday. So we're gonna go try to build on that and uh, hopefully figure something out a little bit better, a little bit more consistent. So it's supposed to be sunny during the tournament. It's pretty sunny today. It's cold. It's the coldest it's gonna be all week. So I'm curious to see if those fish are still gonna be shallow like we found them or if they're gonna push out a little bit. So we'll find out. I mean, we started here, we found this spot later in the day yesterday, and it's got these big boulders on it, so it'll hold heat better. So we wanted to start here in the morning and see if there was like schooling activity on it, or if there was any active fish. But, I mean, I'm not seeing anything on the grass. There's nothing schooling anywhere. So, it just I mean, lacks the deep water we found them around. Yeah, it's real shallow leading up to it, so it doesn't really... There's no for them to easily move up and down yeah, from deep really water to shallow a, water. Doesn't really give them a reason to be here, but... I figured because these big rocks leading back into this little pocket would be a good spot for them to push up to, but. Big rocks equals big spots. Dude, I'm an amateur. Over the tree? God, first time from a bait caster. Let's go. We're probably gonna climb that chair, tear it down. Oh, we were gonna get the jerk bait back. One or two. Day one of a fishing practice, whatever day it is. 14, I don't know, I kinda lost track. It's gonna be a wrap on Tuesday. Yeah. A lot of dead water this morning for sure we figured it we, i think we kind of figured out what is so specific about where we're catching the bigger fish so i'm pretty excited to go elaborate on that up the river a little bit farther and we found maybe a little second deal to run this afternoon at the end of the day so got a big bite on that so we'll run some more stuff like that tomorrow and see what happens i mean the morning was slow oh dude i gotta put this on actually hang on i look like a scrub with one overall on sorry <laughs> i'll restart this morning was slow for sure but we just adjusted to some stuff and we got to remember that in the tournament like it was like noon and we were having a pretty rough day and we adjusted. We had a pretty good bag by like three o'clock. Figured out a little bit a little bit of something. It's kind of the same as what we found the rest or earlier this week. Um, curious to see what the weather does. And we got some changes in the weather coming, so hopefully we can just keep adjusting and hold this stuff till the tournament. Four tacos. Okay. A kid's cheeseburger. Are you a cheeseburger? Yeah. Big dog gotta eat. <laughs> okay. What else are we getting? Let's go. The whole menu? Uh, number 10 with only lettuce. Large Can I have another? Number? Bro, this is gonna be a sack. Oh, we're, done the, we're done with the dirty 40 on. I'm alive. Y'all can take that to your truck. Wait, who got Doc Pepper? I got, that's my pink lemonade. Wait, look, look. I... I, it's a official practice day two. Here for the first stop of the College Bassmaster event on Lake Hartwell. Getting a couple poles out. Only going to have about five on the deck today. Got on a really good bite yesterday, and I'm looking forward to getting back out there and expanding on it. There's some giant bass in this lake, and I've had a good history out here last year, so looking forward to getting out there and expanding on it and finding some uh, 
finding some new areas to catch a big bag on uh, day one. You know, just out here on the pond today. Gonna get another bike, expand, like Garrett said, expand on our bike. We're looking forward to it. You know, it's setting up how we want it. It's that time of the year, pre-spawn, fish moving up, looking forward to another good day. It's just uh, fish can get predictable this time of year, and if you uh, if you understand where they're at, you can run it all over the lake, and that's kind of what we're trying to do. Just expand on water and find new water if uh, if our bite ends up changing, you know. We'll probably visit our better areas tomorrow and just try to get like just maybe one of them, try to get a bite. But for the most part, you want to try to stay away from your best stuff and not get caught there. Yeah, I'm probably going to make a move. This is how I like to fish. I really don't have a game plan right now. I'm just kind of running around. I know the area I want to be in. It's just, I don't have a specific plan. I just want to run around and just see what all looks right. Had any Yamaha 250 SHO uh, trim motors in stock? Mine just went out and I need it replaced. I've got a, that college event starting out here on Friday, so I'm kind of in a pinch. If we ordered it and it would fill in, it'll actually be here tomorrow. Oof, yeah, they've got them in stock, but they're eight hundred twenty-six dollars five cents. Holy shit! How much? Eight hundred. Yeah. Uh, dang, trim motor went out. So I'm trying to troubleshoot it, figure out. Uh, how we can get everything fixed before Friday. I'm just glad it happened today and not uh, on Derby Day. But it's part of fishing, man. You can't ever get frustrated about it because stuff's always gonna happen. You just gotta figure it out. It really sucks, but it's just part of it. Hi. 3.32, 3.32. Today was a good day. We uh, we did what we planned on doing today and uh, ran that. It wasn't quite what we were looking for, but that's a good thing. You know, we kind of eliminated some water, but figured out a few things as well. Issues happen with the trim going out on the motor, trolling motor issues, but that's just part of the game we play. We're gonna get that fixed and bounce back, be ready to uh, go tomorrow. Well, I guess about 10, 11 o'clock, we got on a pretty good bite and we were running it. Uh, same pattern as yesterday. Uh, worked really well again today. Uh, we eliminated a lot of water and we started to try to expand and my trim went out. So I had to try to troubleshoot that on the water and figure it out and it really kind of put a hindrance on us running around and figuring more stuff out. But that's part of the game. I've had a lot of issues where stuff's just gonna happen you have to deal with it and figure it out if you don't try to figure it out then you're gonna be stuck in the water you know and you, you ain't going anywhere uh, saw this place and figured we would ask them Stop if they by. could help yeah since it's just right here i think we've got that figured out we've got to figure out that. yeah get another blade for the trolling motor always something what's your game plan today we're gonna make this morning bite last try to figure something out quick and then we're gonna slow down the rest of the day and try to figure out how to catch a big bite. How's it been the last few days? Not easy. Bites are hard, but uh, they're out here and it's just a matter of putting them together. Uh, we'll see.
guts that goes in the back of these pockets and that's what we call a drain and basically it's just deep water that the herring get in like at night and then early in the mornings and then in the evening. And basically the herring stay in there at night and the fish will stick around in the morning because whenever the sun comes up, I guess they feed at night too, but whenever the sun comes up they just kind of, yeah they just get back in there. So it's, it's a good place to start because you can catch a bunch of fish quick that'll disperse underneath these docks later in the day. Like the birds diving and then the bait flicking and then you'll see fish bust on them every now and then. And like last year we were out here this same time of year and we found it good in one spot and we caught like probably 25 fish and like probably 50, probably 50 casts. So. Follow me and hug this right bank. I'm gonna fish a brush pile over here on this other side. bad we found some good water expanded on some water that we found either Tuesday yeah Tuesday not bad overall definitely didn't see anything that discouraged me but you know it's still the bites aren't that easy to get so we're still gonna have to work hard for that but I think if we can put something together and catch the fish that we're around it can be a really good day tomorrow. how confident are you going in tomorrow uh probably 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 yeah, confident 10 out of 10 confidence <laughs> yeah 100 percent definitely gonna like learn a lot more tomorrow. Practice isn't over until, you know, we head back to Alabama. So I'm gonna keep an open mind and just really just do whatever the fish tell me to do. And then that's what we're gonna do. Boom. So we just made the decision in early February to go ahead and move that tournament two hours down the road here to Lake Hartwell. And we wanna give a, a big thank you to Visit Anderson for helping us essentially scramble to get it done, but uh, we got it done. <laughs> We are going through the line to get some free swag. This is the Bassmaster booth. That's right. Thank you. So you have to be really careful with these hats. If you get one of these hats and you wear it out where there are ladies around, they're going to be hanging all over you. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Here you go. Easy girls, back. But it's not big and it came up and it was a crappie. I was like, what the heck? I caught this crappie and I thought it was big and it was just a crappie. Thanks, guys. The story just went nowhere. You walked into that one. Take off will be at 645. You'll be receiving your boat numbers right after this via a text. We are Bassmaster College Series presented by Bass Pro Shops. We will get underway. You guys have a safe night and good luck in the morning. <laughs> What? What's your girlfriend do with this? Probably not. <laughs> Dude. What day is it today? It's Derby Day. Derby Day. Hope our boys' plans pull through. Yeah, sure. Derby Day. Time to go catch them now. Right here. 
and there was one. Put him on the small side. Gonna make a run to that island. What? It's gonna be hot in here later. Yeah. We should probably come skip these docks later this afternoon. Yep. When you graph a lot of these points on this lake, like there's a lot of submerged or like flooded timber and it all comes up to like 40 feet of water and it's everywhere. Like once you get shallower, like the trees will just only go up to like 40 feet. And on this spot, for whatever reason, when you go up onto the point, the trees will come up. So the trees come up to like 20 feet of water on this spot. So I feel like even if those fish are hugging tight to the timber, you can still call them up with a jerk bait or something like that. And it's like the only spot we can find with trees that are that shallow, but still have deep water right next to them. The deep water is definitely key to catching these spotted bass for sure. Well, the morning was pretty good so far. Um, it started off pretty quick. We probably got like 14 pounds. Caught a big one at the last stop. See him. And uh, the biggest spot, it's, it's probably the biggest spot I've ever caught. 560 something. It's a giant. We go find two bites. That's all we need. We're fishing for two bites. I think it's a big one. That'll help the cause. Decent largey. Another decent largey. Another decent largey. Decent spot. An old mag, daddy. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Let's see what they weigh. Yes, sir. That's how you do it. It's my biggest spot ever, dude. Not even at home on the Coosa River. Out here on Hartwell. Appreciate it. Yeah, go for it. Mission coming up. Logan Parks and Tucker Smith. They got five in their bag. They say they got a big one, a big spot. 18-12 would put you in the lead. Five fish, good start. 16 pounds, 15 ounces, all the way up to fifth place. Five pounds, 13 ounces on that spotted bass. A spot, wow. Nice job. Can I get a picture with that spot one more time? Yeah, that was kind of first thing in the morning. Didn't really think it was that big, but when we got it in the boat, I was like, dude, that's pushing six pounds. It's my biggest spot ever, and to have it at a place like Hartwell, you wouldn't expect that. It's pretty crazy, man. It's hard to complain about almost 17 pounds. Um, just got to go out and do it again tomorrow. Pump gas, catch bass. Yeah, that's, that's good, right there. Did good. We had uh, a little over 16 pounds sitting in seventh place. Excited for, for what, what today brings. Hopefully we can slide into that cut. Jordan caught the uh, big one You yesterday. caught the big I one. I did. You caught the big 6-7. Yeah. Did I go big fish? Yeah. yeah, it's leading big fish right now. Hopefully Ooh. it holds up today. But yeah. That would be sick if I caught a 6-9 today. Yeah. We wouldn't have to catch much after that to qualify, I don't think.
Oh my, dude, there's like 20. I got one too. Get the net. It's a large mouth, dude. That's a giant large mouth. I'm, oh my gosh. What the heck? That's a ticket to the national championship right there, boys. Today we we were kind of planning on just sitting in this creek right here and getting hung up. <laughs> just staying in here and grinding out a good limit. We know there's a ton of fish in here and yesterday got bad spun out, running all over the lake. I burned out a full tank of gas. I mean, all 50 gallons of this skeeter would hold. We burnt it out trying to find water that was untouched and it just, it didn't work out. I don't know if that's what, I don't know if that one's gonna help though. I don't know. Catch yeah, 15 plus pounds will make that a uh, natty cut. Same size fish. Close. Probably got 13. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's like you upgraded today. In 10-1 yesterday, five in there today. We're at 13 pounds, 15 ounces, up to eighth place, 24 even. Nice job. Big 16 pounds and nine ounces. Coming up, Brady Hart, Jordan, Michaela. 16 pounds, 8 ounces, all the way up to first place for this team. 33 pounds. It was, uh, it was fun. It was a grind. We we only caught six fish um, that kept, but they were the right ones. So, fun day is a cold day, but we're thankful for uh, currently in second place. Five Brady caught the, the big one today, oh, so <laughs> it wasn't quite as big as mine. Though, no, you're so. the net guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Logan Parks, Tucker Smith, come on up. Five more in your bag today. They're worth 13 pounds, 13 ounces, all the way up to sixth place. So it's going to be a good finish for you guys. Now it's going to take it to 22nd place. So guys, the tournament went well. Uh, we ended up qualifying two teams for the national championship. Me and Tucker finished in eighth place, and my boys right here sacked them up, Brady and Jordan, and y'all finished in fifth. So we've got two teams qualified for the national championship, and it feels really good to get that done at the first event. Okay, so Brady wants to do one of those conclusions. Where you, where you doing a... No. <laughs> 